In the Senate, a bill passed restricting, restricting what teachers can talk about regarding gender identity and sexuality. This would apply to K through fourth grade classrooms. Now, some have called this the Parents' Bill of Rights. WCNC Charlotte's Austin Walker explains what's behind it and the pushback it's getting. When it comes to kids, people just want to do what they think is best, making sure when the bell rings, they're in good hands. And to some, that's where Senate Bill 49 comes into play. Given the green light Tuesday, the Parents' Bill of Rights explains what teachers cannot teach in the classroom. It prohibits instruction on gender identity, sexual activity, or sexuality for grades kindergarten through the fourth grade. Senate Bill co-sponsor Paul Newton sitting down on PBS explaining the benefits on what he calls parental observation. Those who have the preeminent right over what their children hear, how they're, uh, you know, learning about things, you know, the birds and the bees belong to the parents. We reached out to multiple lawmakers, including the three main sponsors, wanting to know how many individual constituents have highlighted the problems with this topic being taught in North Carolina schools. No response. While one side says they're fighting for the safety of children, there are people who strongly disagree. It does limit a lot of things that build trust between the educator and the student. Tamika Walker-Kelly, president of the North Carolina Association of Educators and a teacher for 13 years, says the bill adds further barriers to their expertise, saying this is just another attack on knowledge. We have to be uh, very mindful about articulating our respect for educators and their expertise and this bill does undermine that. A specific example, the bill says if a student wishes to change their pronouns, the teacher and school must notify the parents of the child. So three in five LGBTQ plus youth find their home to not be LGBTQ affirming. Dr. Sarah Wilson with Duke Health weighing in saying this is something that could be dangerous. Youth and adults, right, turn to friends, maybe teachers, um, other people in the community to be able to gain that acceptance. Their educator, their classroom teacher, or even the janitor or the school bus driver may be their trusted adult. According to the Trevor Project, a 2022 national survey found 45% of LGBTQ youth seriously considered attempting suicide in the past year. Other organizations like Charlotte Pride condemning the bill, calling it North Carolina's version of the Florida Don't Say Gay Bill, which too limited discussion of sexuality and gender in schools. So whether it's for or against, both sides are fighting for the safety of children, disagreeing on how to do it. In Charlotte, Austin Walker, WCNC Charlotte. And so the bill now heads to the House. Governor Cooper has not indicated if he would veto this specific measure, but he has signaled vetoing similar legislation in the past.